Hey guys, welcome back to Kiki Creates. I am Kiki and this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> welcome back my love. So excited to have you. So excited to be here. And I'm so, so excited for today's DIY, for today's video because I've been wanting to do this particular project and this particular DIY for such a long time because honestly I just think it looks gorgeous it looks absolutely beautiful it makes any space that you place it into a very very beautiful one I really did want to do it in a much bigger scale like a high to the ceiling huge ass one but I live in South Africa, the apartments in South Africa don't necessarily accommodate that type of style and the furniture that I have in my place doesn't actually accommodate for me to have a huge piece just standing alone somewhere. So that's why I did it in a much smaller scale to try and put my room together. And so what I did is an in a black industrial mirror. I've seen these videos, these videos all over TikTok. I've seen them all over YouTube. I've seen them all over the Instagram reels. And I was like, girl, I'm gonna do that. Literally, I'm gonna do it. I did it. I'm so excited. I'm so happy with how it turned out. You guys are gonna love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't necessarily have anything to say before the video other than to say that if you're going to be new to my channel with this video, pretty, pretty, pretty please join my loyal royals and subscribe, like if you like the video and kindly do comment down below if you have any questions and yeah, I think that's about it. At the end of the video, I'm going to have um three or so tips that i have for you if you decide or you you want to make the mirror for yourself as well i highly recommend that you do because it's actually very easy like it's not it's not very easy obviously but it's not extremely hard like it's not drilling and, and nailing and it, it doesn't require like any manpower or any type of that situation so i'm gonna plug you sis um yeah let's get into it i am so 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 excited i'm so 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 keen and i'll chat to you guys later enjoy the video
I definitely went in search of mirrors right and I saw at this other mirror shop that they were selling mirrors that are this size for 50 rand and then while I was browsing at pep home because you guys know I love me some pep home I saw that they were selling these mirrors in a frame for 26.99 and I thought to myself that's cheap right because I can take out the mirror and maybe use this frame for something at some point I don't know but yeah let's take out these mirrors now
and that brings us to the end of our video i hope you guys enjoyed watching that as much as i enjoyed doing it it was really 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 fun for me to do because honestly as i said before i've been wanting to this to this for ages and actually seeing it come together was like yes queen so anyway let's get into it i've got tips for you in my little trusty notepad i, I do also have the measurements uh for those people who feel like they want to give it a try and actually make their own industrial mirrors i'll link them down in the description below well not link them just write them down in the description below so that you guys know exactly what measurements i used if you want to make the mirrors in the small type of scale that i did i'm gonna keep looking down because notepad so the first tip is something that i didn't do but we move right when you do or when you decide to make this mirror make sure that you sandpaper all of the wood that you use so after you do, after you glue it on sand it down to, to make it a little bit of a smoother surface after you sand it down definitely do apply primer why i'm saying apply primer is because what wood does is that it acts in a, it acts as an absorbent so it literally sucks in all of the sand um the spray paint so you have to continually keep going back because you're not getting your desired black or your desired look so if if i had primed it it was going to be a little bit better so be smart don't be like me sand it down so that you've got smooth finishes and apply primer before you apply your sandpaper or paint if you feel like you're picasso and you want to use a normal paint okay uh tip number two so with the first mirror i was cautious i literally measured each and every corner using the mirrors all six of the mirrors and then while the mirrors were still on there I glued it I glued the wood down and then before I spray painted it I just tipped the mirrors over and I was very precise so I do think I got a little bit cocky and with the second one because I didn't do the same I was like oh, I know what I'm doing I'm smart no I wasn't because the second mirror ended up a little bit jagged where some blocks went with like after I spray painted it and was actually trying to put in the mirrors some blocks turned out to be smaller than others and some were a little bit skew so I had to rip out all of the wood measure it again and start from scratch so you can get where I'm going with this don't be a smarty pan do not don't do that tip number three is obviously one that I think is very important to me because I'm a very economical person and mine doesn't grow on trees okay so I literally before I saw those mirrors that you see that you saw in the video for 30 rand at pep I was literally willing to buy small mirrors for 50 rand and above at this other shop that I found and i don't know something just told me like whoa pause don't actually buy those mirrors because like like something just didn't allow me to and luckily i went to pep and i saw mirrors for way cheap so honestly for me i just think a mirror is a mirror so shop around be economical don't buy the first thing you see research find out where you can get it for cheaper um so you don't end up digging too much into your pocket because honestly if i bought those mirrors six mirrors times five is 300 rand i was going to spend 600 rand just on mirrors and these this these two mirrors all done with the wood and everything wasn't even 600 it didn't it didn't go to that much so be smart like me <laughs> i'm kidding anyway thank you so much guys for watching my video thank you and videos all of my videos thank you for sticking around thank you for being so kind and sweet and supportive um i, I honestly like just keep talking about my subscribers i don't i think i was telling a friend i'm like i want to call my subscribers the royal royals because honestly you guys are royal you're literally royal and you have been so loyal and so kind to me since i started so thank you so much 
and to all the new ones welcome to the family welcome to the family <laughs> i can't wait for us to grow bigger and stronger and just greater and do bigger stuff in my dreams i am literally renovating and redoing houses so hopefully that's something that is definitely in my future for now We'll keep doing little DIYs until God says yes. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you guys. <laughs>